Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Q Storm. You may know me from the esteemed Michael Dean podcast called Geeked Out, where we kind of chop it up over all things pop culture, geeked out, nerd, comic related kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to thank Michael for uh, lighting a fire underneath me and finally using some of this, uh, all this technology that I have at my disposal. I've only been doing this as a career for 20 years and finally decided maybe it's about time for me to... Um, you know, do my first video podcast, vlog cast, whatever they call these things. So here we have where I do all my work, my office, as it were. Uh, I like to refer to it as the lab, the bat cave, the man cave, the fortress of solitude, my sanctum, sanctorum, if I really want to get deep with it. But uh, it's a little messy right now, but that's only because, uh, you know, business is popping. I'm here, I'm there, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing. So, uh, don't have time to do the menial tasks of cleaning up. I don't. I just don't have time for it. But uh, that plus I'm just very sloppy. By the way, if you hear like a low hum or a buzzing in the audio, that's the um, the fish tank that I have over in the corner there. Just adds a little tranquility to my day. So um, apologies. Hopefully it's not too distracting. All right. So the first thing I want to show you is uh, well, let me back up for a sec. Um, if you're watching this, you most likely know that I'm a huge Walking Dead fan. Listen, one thing, they may not seem like much one at a time, but in a group all hungry, man, you watch your ass. <laughs> of the TV show and of the comic book, and once again, I have to thank Michael Dean for that. He was the one who introduced me to the comic, which, let me just say, if you are a fan of the show, I urge you to go out and buy the comic right now. Uh, I picked up the first graphic novel. I burned through it in about two days. So it is a fantastic comic book. But this, what I first, the first thing I bought was the um, the Walking Dead issue number 100. So it's a landmark issue. Um, and as you can see there, this has the signature of the one and only Robert Kirkman. So um, I'm very happy with this comic. On the cover, well, let's, let's just say that this cover is one of only 500 covers that was printed, uh, completely black with um, a baseball bat with um, uh, a chain, I forget, what, I, I can't think of what this is called right now, but um, uh, the, the chains that they put over the prison walls, whatever that's called, I forget. I'm not that familiar with prison, so forgive me for not knowing what that's called. Uh, <clears throat> but it's uh, covered in blood. And uh, again, the most important thing is Mr. Kirkman's signature is here. Now, I will say this. Do I know for a fact that this is Robert Kirk Kirkman's signature? I do not. There is not a COA on this comic book. However, the guy, I've been doing business with him, the, the guy that owns my local comic book shop, I've been doing business with him for you know a couple years. I trust the guy. We went to the um, Comic Street uh, online site, I believe it's called, and he compared the signature here with the signature that Robert Kirkman had produced there. So. I am relatively sure that this is actually Mr. Kirkman's signature. I bought this because I'm hoping to put my six-year-old through college with this in another, uh, what, 14 years. So, uh, actually that would be 12 years or 13 years. Maybe I should go back to college. Uh, but yes, this is The Walking Dead and this is gonna go in this frame here and no one will touch it for another 14, 15 years. So they, they have that. So the next thing I wanna show you um, is the world's greatest superhero. According to Marvel, at least. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man number 700. And what makes this comic a landmark issue is that uh, Peter Parker in the original universe, not the ultimate universe, Peter Parker apparently dies after being 
transported from Dr. Octopus's body. No, I'm sorry. Peter Parker's mind gets put into the body of Dr. Octopus, who is dying. So now Dr. Octopus is now in Spider-Man's body. His mind is in Spider-Man's body. So this is the comic book where Peter Parker dies. Now we all know, those of us who have any doings with comic books know that death means nothing in the comic book universe. However, I did pick this up and all I have to say, I got two words, Stan Lee. Originally signed by Stan Lee. But unlike the Walking Dead comic that I just showed you, this one, bam. Certificate of Authenticity. Let me hold that this way. So, there's the seal of approval. There's the paperwork. It's all legit. Stand the man leap. Okay, so this one's going to put the two year old through college, hopefully. There you go. Amazing Spider Man number 700. Okay, so up next, now this is something that I actually picked up last year. Uh, it wasn't during Free Comic Book Day. I just walked into the um, into the comic book shop. This was hanging up on the wall. I walked and I, I, I loved it when I saw it. It's a little pricey, a little pricey. And I must have walked in there for about five months, you know, picking up my, uh, lo my uh, monthly comics. Uh, actually, I download now, but I keep that to myself. I don't let the guy that owns the comic book shop know that. But, uh, I got an iPad, what can I say? Um, but I like, to go, I like to go in there every now and then, and I had my eye on this for like five months, and I finally decided, you know what? I gotta have it. So, here you go. This, try to get that reflection off of there. This is, um, I'm, it has to, it must be a reprint of a cell from the original, the 60s Spider-Man TV uh, animated show. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. I mean, I just love, I love the artwork, I love the, the pose, and once again, check it out, right down here, Stan Lee's signature, I mean, it's a wrap, there you go, and if you can see, it's, uh, this is number 32 of only, trying to get the reflection out of there for you. This is number 32 of only 250 prints. So I had to have it. It just looks beautiful to me. And like I said, you only go around once. Wasn't cheap, but I had to have it. I don't know anything about investing in stocks or bonds, so, but I know comic books. And the other bonus is that if you look on the back, COA, Certificate of Authenticity. So I have no reason to believe that this is not in fact valid. So there you go, another Spider-Man purchase. And what's funny is, I'm not even all that crazy a Spider-Man fan. To be honest, I only started reading comics again after, again, Michael Dean. I, I uh, hooked up with Michael Dean in his podcast, but uh, had to have it. So there you go, Spider-Man. Okay, so the last few items I have are just a couple of knickknacks uh, that I picked up. Uh, this is um, things I've picked up uh, throughout the last couple of years. As you can see, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. That goes without saying. That kind of comes with the territory if you're into uh, pop culture. I got my uh, X-Wing fighter, my Millennium Falcon, my TIE fighter. I got my... Uh, at, at all-terrain armored transport, which, you know, Empire Strikes Back is one of my all-time top 10 movies. See over here in the corner, I got my man Galactus of Fantastic Four fame, hanging out with the Silver Surfer. I picked that up at a, another comic book shop that I frequent. Um, well, I say frequent, but again, now that I download most of my comics, I don't go to many of these places at all, but, uh, if you push the button there at the center of his chest, he talks and his eyes light up. Behold, the world eating machine. It's pretty cool. Well, the eyes lighting up is cool. The voice is kind of kind of whack, to be honest. It sounds like something from Flash Gordon, circa 1942. 
Why does not the sacred gong sound the final note which completes the marriage ceremony? I picked up this guy. I bought this guy, oh man, a year and a half ago, and I still haven't opened the box yet. But uh, this is uh, for you X Men fans. This is one of the Sentinels. And oh, he's upside down. Okay. It's all good. There you go. Fully closable. You know, uh, he is in uh, proportion to the other action figures in this line. For those who are uninitiated, the Sentinels are, what about, uh, I don't know, 30 feet tall, 50, 40 feet tall. So that's why they are so huge. And you also have a little uh, Wolverine that goes with the Sentinel. Very cool. And as for other knickknacks, I've got the uh, little miniature Anakin Skywalker lightsaber. Not much, but it's just cool. You know, doesn't really do anything, just looks cool. I've got the Darth Vader lightsaber, scaled replica. I haven't broken this one out of the box yet. But again, does nothing, has no value other than it looks cool. And that's why I got it. Okay, so this last item, I, I have to admit, I have no idea why I wanted this. Uh, I bought this. Um, I'm not even a fan of the movies or the TV show, which were popular, I'm gonna say back in the 90s. If you recall the Highlander TV shows. And here we are, we're the princes of the universe. Something to do with uh, mystical, Irish, Celtic, Scottish, I don't know. A warrior of incredible strength. You've the devil in you. We've been kinsmen 20 years. Some type of uh, swordsman who only one of them could live and exist, be in existence at the same time. There can only be one. That's the only thing I know about that show. There can only be one. Highlander, there can be only one. And here we are. Bam. There you go. I had to have this. Uh, it is a, I don't know if this would be considered a long sword or a broad sword, um, but it's got the McLeod uh, brand on it. I don't know what that means. I guess one of the characters was named McLeod in the TV show. I'm Connor McLeod of the clan McLeod. You cannot die, McLeod. But um, it's a sword and it's badass, so I had to have it. Um, there you go. Pretty much uh, putting the nail in the coffin of my nerdy geekdom. I used to be a huge Dungeons and Dragons fan. And so this sword, I had to have it. It's just cool. So there you have it. There can only be one. So there you have it. Uh, some of the things that I've purchased in my travels, um, for better or for worse, uh, for foolish or for wise. Um, but unlike Tony Stark, I will not be giving out my home address. Here's my home address. 10880 Malibu Point, 90265. So that someone can come in and you know grab my, my stuff, let's put it that way. I'll leave the door unlocked. Again, Shout out to my man Michael Dean of podcastjuice.net. Please check him out. Check out Geek Out. He also does a show called Prince Podcast. If you're into music, any kind of music, or if you're particularly into Prince, you gotta check that out. You can check me out also on uh, Twitter at QStorm3476. Check me out on Facebook. The link is Michael Jones. Check me out on my website, QStorm.com. I mean, you can just, this technology is out of control. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you soon.